Grandma, stay safe online. It was a warm September afternoon. Athena, along with her grandmother and their two dogs, Hermes and Artemis, were walking in the park where there was a small pond with beautiful white ducklings. Athena was totally delighted with them. She was so thrilled that she wanted to play with them all day long. Do you like ducklings, Athena? Grandma asked with a tender expression on her face. Oh, Grandma, I adore them. I want you to bring me here every day so I can see them, replied Athena and snuggled up to her grandmother. Hermes and Artemis looked at her plaintively. The two little dogs felt neglected and tried in various ways to get her attention to play with them. They were jumping up and down, barking, pulling her pants with their muzzles, but Athena did nothing. She was amazed by the ducklings and by the way they were playing carelessly in the pond during this warm autumn afternoon. Suddenly, a young boy's heart-rending cry disturbed the peacefulness moment and everyone's attention was on him. Athena and her grandma turned to see what was going on while Hermes and Artemis stopped and lay quietly by Athena's feet. A few meters away, the little boy continued to cry and started asking his mom insistently to return home quickly. His mom was trying to call him down, explaining to him that they had come for a walk in the park to have fun and that they would be back home soon. No, I want to go back home now. I'm not having a good time in the park. I want to go home and play my favorite online game, he yelled at her. Tom, you shouldn't be playing games all day. You have to do other things that fill you with joy. If you want, we can go by your friend Bradley's house or invite some of your friends here to play, his mom advised in a patient tone. However, his mom's response sparked new reactions from the little boy. He started crying non-stop again and asking her even more persistently this time to go home. Did you see, Athena, how much playing online games can affect you? Her grandmother noticed worriedly. Children should play with other children and enjoy parks, squares and the sea. They shouldn't sit all day in front of a screen because that way they don't grow up properly and there's a risk of them becoming addicted, the grandmother explained. Oh, grandma, how right you are, Athena exclaimed. We had the same discussion at school today and the teacher told us exactly that. That we shouldn't spend many hours online because if we do, we won't have friends in real life and we'll feel lonely in the end. She also told us that we need to be careful that the games we play are age appropriate because otherwise we risk seeing something that will really scare or upset us. And in fact, my classmate George who plays games a lot, added that we should not play with strangers and should be very careful not to give out our personal data. His dad, who knows a lot about the internet, has told him that. Hermes and Artemis wagged their tails back and forth and joined the conversation. Young children shouldn't be using the internet alone without adult supervision, Hermes barked and Artemis added. And if they encounter someone or something that upsets them, they should immediately tell a trusted adult. Ho, ho, said the grandmother. How many things you do know about using the internet properly and safely? Well done. You really impress me, kids. Unfortunately, I don't know how to do many things online. When I was your age, there was no internet and now I'm having a hard time learning to use it. I know nothing about what is wrong and what is right. Oh, Grandma, don't be sad at all. I, Hermes and Artemis, will teach you everything. We'll make you an expert. So, let's not lose time. Let's go home quickly to start the lesson, said Athena and blew a big kiss on her grandmother's cheek. As soon as the family arrived home, Athena asked her mom to open the tablet for her. Hurry up, mom! I want to teach Grandma so much about the Internet!" she shouted, jumping up and down with excitement. 
Come on, Grandma, sit next to me, she said to her grandma, filled with joy and excitement. And you, my dear Athena, do you know all the secrets so that you can navigate safely on the internet? Where did you learn that from? Her mom asked with a rather puzzled expression. Mom, both you and Dad have told me so many things about what to watch out for when online. And our teacher at school has told us as much. I've become an expert on this matter, Athena replied proudly. The two little dogs, Hermes and Artemis, were jumping all around Athena, wanting to show they agreed with what she was saying. Well, Grandma, on the internet there are many social networks where you can open profiles, upload your photos or videos, chat with your friends and even make new friends. You, Grandma, can create a profile on any social network you want to. However, since I'm not yet 13 years old, I should not use social network as I do not yet know how to protect myself from the risks that exist and there are many. In fact, at school many of my classmates use TikTok and share videos with dancing figures thinking that TikTok is for children. But our teacher said that to use TikTok you must be at least 13 years old because there are many risks in this social network as well. And if I create a profile, Athena, on some social network, what should I be careful about? asked Grandma full of wonder. You should always keep your profile private, Hermes barked happily knowing the answer. And don't accept friend requests from strangers barked Artemis, full of pride that she knew how to answer. Well done, my good dogs, said Athena. You are very clever. Grandma, I should explain to you that not everything is as it seems on the internet. You can receive a friend request by someone who has created a fake profile and wants to get close to you and harm you. You should be very careful and not accept friend requests from strangers, as Artemis rightly said. Don't chat with people you don't know and under no circumstances meet someone you met online, Athena said blandly. That's the only way you'll stay safe, she added. Everything you told me, Athena, is very important. I will follow them to the letter. But tell me one more thing. I don't have a lot of money and my pension is not enough to buy an expensive mobile phone. But I would really like one. I have seen on the internet that there are some contests where you can win such smartphones or even free vacation trips. Wouldn't be a good idea to take part in one of these contests? Grandma asked curiously. No, Grandma, no, by no means. Most of these contests are fake. In this way, malicious people want us to fall into the trap, enter our personal information and steal it from us. Our teacher also told us that we should never ever open links that seem strange or that we don't know who sent them to us, Athena said in a strong voice. Artemis, who had been listening attentively to what Athena was saying, jumped up, stood on her two feet and said, Hermes, do you remember yesterday when we were watching our favorite children's show and suddenly a window appeared on the screen telling us that we had won a laptop and prompting us to click on to the link to get our gift? That was it, that was it, I'm sure. They wanted us to click on the link and steal our personal data. Yes, yes, that was it. You're right, Artemis. Luckily, we didn't click on it and called Athena's mom to take it off for us so we could continue watching our show. I have heard that apart from stealing your personal information in this way, if you click on an unknown link, your device might get infected with a virus and be damaged, or it may open some weird page that contains inappropriate material added Hermes, who, being frightened at the idea of what might happen to them, rushed with fear under the chair to protect himself. Oh, what a relief knowing all those useful things and telling me what to watch out for when I'm online. I feel so much more confident now. 
Grandma said, hanging Athena and Artemis tightly. Athena's mom, who had been listening carefully to what Athena was saying to her grandmother, felt very proud of her little girl. She had learned to use the internet responsibly and safely. Athena, shouldn't you tell grandma that we shouldn't believe everything we see on the internet? She said and added, I think this is just as important as anything you've told her so far. Oh, mom, how right you are. I almost forgot. Grandma, there are a lot of lies on the internet, so don't believe everything you read. If you want to be sure that what you're reading is true and valid, you should always cross-check it with other sources, from other sites, from a book, or ask someone you trust. In these cases, I ask my mom or my teacher. And if I'm not sure that something I'm reading is true, then I don't repost it, because that way I might inadvertently confuse and mislead other people who will read what I shared and believe it. Wow, Athena, that hadn't even crossed my mind. How smart you are and how much you know about the internet. Thank you so much, honey, for what you taught me today. Grandma said with an expectant tone and continued. I can't wait to start using the internet myself now that I know what to watch out for. Grandma, don't be in a hurry, Athena said. We have to do a few more lessons because there are other dangers on the internet that you should be aware of. But I will tell you a secret that will help you a lot. And she continued with a sneaky tone. I have seen my mom who enters the site of the Greek Safer Internet Center and there she learns many things about what we should be careful of when online. You should visit their website. Let's see what it's called. Hmm. Saferinternetforkids.gr, Hermes and Artemis said with one voice. Yes, well done, Hermes and Artemis. You're my best assistant. And for this reason, it's time to reward you with an ice cream. Come on, come quickly. Whoever gets to the fridge first gets the biggest cone. Athena announced, jumping with excitement and starting running towards the kitchen. Both dogs ran to her. The next morning, Athena opened her eyes and a small surprise was waiting for her. Just right next to her pillow, there were three books with her favorite hero, at Digidak. She went mad with joy. She loved reading the adventures of Ad Digidak and learning about the internet. Her beloved grandmother, in this way, wanted to say a big thank you to Athena for the useful things she had taught her about the internet. The end.